This is Susan from realfoodrealfrugal.com and today I'm going to tell you about how I created an essential oil basic care kit. Uh, the first thing that you're going to want to get before you even really get into essential oils is this book, The Complete Book of Essential Oils and Aromatherapy. This is kind of my essential oil Bible. It is wonderful. It has all kinds of information. I highly recommend you reading it. Now my basic care kit that I'm going to be telling you about today is basically inspired by this chapter, your basic care kit. In this chapter, it describes several different essential oils that I'm going to talk about and, um, and it also gives recipes for using those basic uh, essential oils. So this is really great for the beginner who was just starting to get into essential oils because this gives you really basic instructions on how to get started. So let's talk about some of the oils. The first one that I'm going to talk about is lavender essential oil. And this is a now brand that I just pick up at my uh, local uh, health food store. Lavender is really great for treating burns and uh, uh, scalds and things like that, cuts and burns. Um, it's an antibiotic, antiseptic, antidepressant. It is a sedative. It promotes healing and it stimulates the immune system. This is really good stuff. This is probably one of the essential oils that I use the most often. Um, I use it, sprinkle it a little bit on my pillow at night. It doesn't help me to get to sleep, but it helps me to stay to sleep uh, better. Um, I also use it for treating migraines. I put a little bit on my temple and a little on the back of my neck, and it really helps relieve migraines. The next essential oil is tea tree oil. And I, this is Eden's Garden Essential Oil, which is actually one of my most favorite essential oil companies. Um, it is very affordable and great quality. Uh, tea tree oil is an antiseptic, antiviral, antibacterial, antifungal, and it treats candida and you also treat it infections. This is really good for putting on a little cuts and things like that to help disinfect them. It will burn a little bit, but it keeps uh, things from getting infected. The next essential oil is peppermint oil. Peppermint oil is just basically health promoting. It's great for the digestive system and it helps also with the respiratory system. It's really good when you have an upset stomach to take. Um, it's also an anti-inflammatory, um, antiseptic, and it helps keep away pests. You sprinkle a little bit around your windows and your doors and it keeps away pests. The next oil is chamomile oil, and this is from Mountain Rose Herb. Um, chamomile is antibacterial, antiseptic, it's a disinfectant, it's anti-inflammatory, uh, it treats burns and skin disorders, and it calms nerves. You see a lot of people drinking chamomile tea, and that's because it is very relaxing and calming. Um, eucalyptus oil is the next oil that we're going to talk about. Um, this one is actually one that I'm using really quite often right now because it's that time of the year. It's winter time. Um, a eucalyptus is great for treating respiratory disorders, coughs, colds, the flu, things like that. Um, it's an anti-inflammatory, antiseptic, antibiotic. It's also a diuretic. Uh, it's analgesic, which means that it helps to cut the pain. It's deodorizing. Um, we use this a lot. We mix a few drops of this with a carrier oil and rub on our feet and it will calm the coughing most of the night. Um, the next oil is geranium oil. Geranium oil is a nerve talk, uh, tonic nerve tonic. <laughs> um, it's good for treating all sorts of female disorders. Um, ranging from menopausal, menstrual problems, those sorts of things. It's good for endometriosis. It helps with um, menstrual cramps. It's a di uh, It's good for treating diabe diabetes. It is a sedative. Um, it also has antiseptic and astringent qualities that are really good. The next oil is rosemary oil. Rosemary oil comes with a caution that it is a stimulant. So if you have something like blood pressure, uh, high blood pressure issues, you need to use this sparingly or very carefully. Uh, you don't want to use it neat, which means straight. Uh, you want to definitely mix it with a, a carrier oil. Um, like I said, it is a stimulant. It's great for treating muscle aches and arthritis. Um, it's an antiseptic. It also helps to treat fatigue, uh, memory loss, migraines, and headaches. 
It's good for cough, colds, and flu, and it's also good for treating acne. The next oil is thyme oil. Thyme oil is an antiviral, antibacterial, antiseptic, diuretic. It elimin eliminates toxin, toxic waste from the body, and it's also used for treating snoring. Mix a little bit of this with the carrier oil, rub it on your husband's feet, and your nights will be a lot quieter. The next oil is lemon oil. Lemon oil is a water purifier as well as a blood purifier. Um, it's an antiseptic, antibacterial, and also promotes weight loss. So this is another good one to have. The last one that's mentioned in the book is clove oil. Now clove oil most people know for treating toothaches and things like that. And it is good for toothaches and mouth pain. Um, it's an antibacterial antiseptic. It's analgesic, which means it helps to cut the pain. And it's good for digestive problems as well, and also for respiratory illness. Now the next one that I want to show you is not included in that book, but I include it because I have been using it for a long time and I swear by it. And that is thieves oil. Thieves oil is a combination of cinnamon, clove, eucalyptus, lemon, and rosemary. Um, it is a disinfectant, sanitizer, antibiotic, antiseptic. It is an immune booster. Um, it combats the cough, colds, flu. It's antibacterial. Um, you use it to treat and prevent infections. It combats staph infection, uh, antifungal. You can use it as a mouthwash and gargle for mouth and throat infections, and it's an antiviral. This stuff is really, really good. So I highly, highly recommend Thieves Oil. Now I'm going to show you a little bit about my kit. My kit is in this box, is what I put it in. It has a lid that goes on it, and inside of there. I have a couple of things. I have a little tub that has cotton balls in it for putting the things on. I have some herbal salve. It's a healing salve uh, that a friend of mine makes that we use for burns and cuts. It's all kinds of skin irritations. We have these little bottles like this that I purchased at Walmart. I think they're 97 cents uh, travel bottles. These are really good for mixing up the individual mixtures of stuff especially stuff you use on a regular basis. Um, I also use those little bottles to hold my carrier oils. Small bottles fit right in there so I don't have to worry about big bottles. This is grapeseed oil and coconut oil are the two that I use. Um, this is more for like a massaging stuff and this is more for like a salve kind of thing. Um, inside there also I have this little tub that contains all of my essential oils and it's just a flip top tub. It's smaller so it keeps the essential oils from rattling around and falling over and leaking. Um, another essential tool is a dropper. Um, this is really good for mixing up your, uh, your concoctions <laughs> um, for just getting uh, really good dosage. You know, you know, you can count how many drops that you use. Um, the last thing that I use, uh, have in there, is my orange essential oil, which I use for my cleaning, so my cleaning concoctions because it smells good. Anyway, that is my basic care kit, and I'll try to come back with uh, later and kind of show you some of the different uh, remedies that I can create with just this basic care kit. Well, I appreciate you watching the video today, and I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you learned something, and ask you to come by and visit us over at uh, realfoodrealfrugal.com. Leave a comment below. Thank you. Bye-bye.